Hi everyone, it's Ali here from An Arrow Off The Field um, His fourth podcast I'm glad you guys have liked the first um, three podcasts The viewships are going up um, Continue to subscribe, like it, share it um, Comment, um, feedback the best, um, best thing um, Also in the description box, my Facebook page has a link to it um, I've got 5,000, over 5,300 likes on my um, Facebook page, I have these latest NRL rumors. Um, it's always updated. Latest news, rumors, signings, um, big breaking news. It's always there, always updated. Um, you enjoy it. Um, in terms of this podcast today, we're going to be talking about NRL signings, rumors, information, just basic information, and um, also NRL Super Coach. So I'm going to get straight into it because there's quite a few um, things to touch on in the um, rumors and signing section. So with in, um, the first thing I'm going to talk about in the first team is the Cronulla Sharks. So the Cronulla Sharks with Jason Bakuya. Um, they've got a couple of players off contract or um, a couple of players that they're after. So Robbie Rocco, Tarek Sims, Jason Bakuya, um, Matt Gillett, um, and Luke Lewis. So Jason Bakuya is going to re-sign with the Cronulla Sharks. Um, expect um, to hear and read um, that within the next few weeks. Um, Luke Lewis, I am hearing he won't be there next year. So um, he's been great. But there's a team that's after him and I'll touch on that you know, um, um, very soon. Tarek Sims is another one, but um, there's a there's another couple of teams that they're after him, so the Cronulla Sharks won't get him. And Robbie Rocco, I think Ro the biggest chance um, or that the Cronulla Sharks have got is um, will be signing Robbie Rocco. Um, having Robbie Rocco there will be great as a replacement for Luke Law. So um, I know he was there a couple of weeks ago um, to tour the place, and he saw that um, the facilities. So. Robbie Rocco, you know, don't get shocked if you know Robbie Rocco does sign with the Cronulla Sharks. I've been touching on it a couple of times in the podcast, previous podcast, um, but it's just an update. So Jason Bakuya re-signing, uh, Robbie Rocco possibly signing, and then um, rule out uh, keeping Luke Lewis or signing Matt Gillett because he's going to be staying with the Brisbane Broncos. I'll touch on that soon, um, and also um, Tarek Sim, Matt Gillett, and. Um, Jason Bakuya, Luke Lewis, yeah. So, um, in terms, of, so with the Cronulla Sharks, so um, Jason Bakuya re-signing, Luke Lewis leaving, Robbie Rocco possibly signing, Matt Gillette, um, he was a couple of teams are after him, so the Dragons are um, Sharks as well. But I'm hearing he's going to stay with the um, with the Brisbane Broncos, so um, he'll be taking a pay cut. He'll be staying with the Brisbane Broncos. Um, and another team as well um, is the Penrith Panthers. I want to talk on as well, and the Dragons. So the Dragons have got Mitch Rain, um, Benji Marshall, but they're after James Seguiaro and Luke Kiry. I'm hearing Luke um, James Seguiaro will leave the Panthers. Mitch Rain has to take a pay cut, or he'll le he'll be leaving. Benji Marshall won't be there. Um, the Dragons will be signing, announcing the signing of Luke Kiry very soon. And um, that's obviously going to be at the expense of Benji Marshall and possibly Mitch Rain if um, they sign um, James Seguiaro as well. So, um, biggest um, the club that James Seguiaro is possibly going to is the Dragons, the club that Luke Curry is possibly um, most likely going to go to next year um, is the Dragons. Benji Marshall, it means Benji Marshall leaves, Mitch Rain takes a pay cut. Um, the reason. Um, Russell Crowe doesn't want Luke Curry there, they've had a drama before, they don't want him, they'll be looking for, I'm pretty sure they'll go for another experienced um, player, um, if I was them I'd go for Blake Green, but he's gone elsewhere, um, I did hear that they might go for an, a, a rookie um, in the half, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out, or they'll possibly keep the way that they're playing right now and chuck someone on the bench into um, in place of Luke Kiry, so they're probably just planning for the future right now. So um, that's where the Dragons stay stand. That's where the Rabbitohs stand. Um, Broncos. That's where they stay. That's where the Sharks stay or stand. Also, um, 
the Rabbitohs. Um, they've got a couple of players as well. Jason Clark, J um, David Taylor, David, um, Dave Tyrrell, sorry, Dave Tyrrell. Um, Jason Clark, he's getting chased, well, I heard a couple of weeks ago. This was during the time when Tim Grant was possibly going to the Tigers. I heard that Jason um, Clark as well, um, the Tigers were after him as well. So apparently Dave Tyrrell, Jason Clark, also not wanted by the Rabbitohs. Um, maybe the West Tigers are going to have a crack at um, Jason Clark again. So watch this pace as well with them. Um, Greg Eastwood's another one, another player who's been in um, the media lately. Greg Eastwood with um, possibly leaving the Bulldogs. The Dragons are after him, Warriors are after him, and don't count out the Brisbane Broncos. But if it's between, if I if you can narrow it down, it'll be either staying at the Broncos, um, staying at the Bulldogs, or joining the Warriors. Because um, I don't think the Broncos are going to have much cap space when they resign. Um, when they re-sign uh, Matt Gillette, so Warriors or Bulldogs are all staying at the Bulldogs, so watch his space for um, Greg Eastwood, but don't forget the Bulldogs also have to re-sign Embi, Jackson, Clemmer, and I've also got um, Josh Reynolds as well, off contract soon, so um, watch his space. The Gold Coast Titans, so this is an interesting one, they were after we know that they wanted um, Conrad Hubble, they still, they still do, and just last week David Mead got injured. And they've been after Conor Toro for a while now to play effective immediately. So David Mead's out for extended period of time. Nathan Davis is in his place right now, but um, watch this space because they're just probably going to be at the exact time that the um, Conor Toro comes. He'll go straight into um, um, uh, the, the side and um, June 30 deadline before that. So expect that to happen. Um, the Tigers as well, apparently they're after Tony Williams, who's an outer at the club, at the Bulldogs club, so um, I don't, he's been dropped now, Tony Williams, I don't think he'll be back anytime soon, I don't think he'll be there next year, so West Tigers is the club they're after, and probably England as well, he might go to England, but the West Tigers are apparently um, interested in his services, but I don't think they'll be after him for, they won't be signing him for six, five hundred thousand, um, probably half of that maybe. Um, today, the Penrith Panthers announced that um, Chris Gresmill has signed with the club, effective immediately, we all know that, until the end of the 2018 season, so um, that's nothing special. Uh, Tarek Sims is another one for the Newcastle Knights, from the Newcastle Knights, so um, Tarek Sims um, possibly leaving the Newcastle Knights. South Sydney, I, I told you guys last week they were interested in him. Um, but this time around, this week, there's been talk about Manly possibly wanting him. So between Manly and South, Manly need a hard um, running player, a forward. Tarek Sims is that player. Um, the South Sydney Rabbitohs, Jason Clark going, Dave Turo going. Um, they've got space. Tarek Sims probably going to be the perfect um, replacement um, there. Robbie Rocker also possibly leaving the Newcastle Knights. I've already touched on that. Um, Cronulla Sharks might be a perfect fit. Um, for him, um, who knows, they might do a swap with Luke Lewis tonight, Rocco to um, Sharks, uh, um, watch his pace. Um, news about the Canberra Raiders, their backup hooker Kurt Baptiste and also um, back rower Luke Bateman. Um, watch his pace, expect them to be um, re-signing with the club, they've both been good. Um, I'll rate Luke um, uh, sorry, Kurt Baptiste off the bench. I think the impact it makes is just incredible. He can change a game as well. So um, expect an announcement between the uh, next couple of weeks um, about them to um, re-signing with the club, which is great for the um, obviously for the Canberra Raiders because I've got about 14,000 members, which is higher than the Sydney Roosters, believe it or not. So uh, the fans are behind them. Ricky Short's are great, doing a great job. Luke Bateman's a great um, young player. Kurt Baptiste is the exact player you want off the bench coming from um, a Penrith Panthers fan. We used to see James Seguiara coming off the bench um, when we had Kevin Kingston. So um, the impact a backup hooker or a bench hooker makes is just it um, can change a game. So um, um, watch your space for that announcing announcement. Jason Clark, um, Jason Taylor, sorry, Jason Taylor from the Tigers, the coach, um, apparently. I know he, 
they, uh, the CEO, the new CEO, said, you know, rest assured, he's going to be there until he's going to see out his contract, but um, that's all media talk. Um, they've got the Knights this week if they lose that one, and they have another more, a couple of losses. Um, he'll, he'll be getting the sack for sure. Um, they've already lost once to the Newcastle Knights. If they lose again, and they rock up, you know, rack up a couple of um, losses in the next couple of weeks, and um, he'll be gone sooner rather than later. Um, I, I think he'll be gone before Andrew McFadden, if that if that was the case with Andrew McFadden um, leaving. Now, um, those are the the NRL rumors and signings. Um, but I do want to recap on all of them. It'll probably take a minute and a half just so everybody knows um, in short. So, um, Cronulla Sharks re-signing Jason Bakuya. Um, Matt Gillette um, re-signing with the uh, Brisbane Broncos. James Sigiara leaving the Panthers for the Dragons. Um, and that is going to be at the expense of Mitrain taking the pay cut or leaving. And Benji Marshall also leaving. Cody Nikarima as well. Um, I haven't touched on that. Cody Nikarima... Um, Apparently he's leaving the Brisbane Broncos um, and going straight to um, Melbourne Storm. Now um, we all know Cody Nickerim, a backup hooker from the Brisbane Broncos. Uh, why did the Melbourne Storm want him? Well, Blake Green, the um, the um, or the the backup half, you can say, or the Mister Fixer, you can say, for the Melbourne Storm when the big three in Origin, the person that steps up is Blake Green. He's been great this year. He was great last year. Um, the reason why they want Cody Nicarima is because apparently Blake Green is going to be signing with the English Super League side, um, Hall FC. So Cody Nicarima fits straight into Blake Green's spot and gets more game time. So that's, it works out well for um, both the clubs because the Broncos will use that um, to also re-sign um, Matt Gillette, help him re-sign Matt Gillette. Um, also the Dragons, um, sorry the Bulldogs, Warriors um, in a race to re-sign um, Greg Eastwood. David Mead getting injured, meaning Conrad Hurrell goes straight into the Gold Coast Titans side at the expense of possibly Nathan, Nathan Davis um, dropping back. Um, Luke Curie is one is another one uh, with Jason Clark and David Tyrrell, not one to the Rabbitohs. They won't be there next year. Jason Clark possibly Tigers. Luke Curie um, um, by the looks of it, um, Dragons and expect an announcement very very soon. Tony Williams to the Tigers, that's a rumour going around. Penrith Panthers signing Chris Grasmill for this year. I'm effective immediately round, from round 11. I don't think he'll play round 11, but give or take, you know, he'll probably um, cover for Origin and later on the year if any injuries occur. But he most definitely adds depth. Um, and he's signed until the end of 2018. Jason Taylor getting sacked um, if they don't rack up a couple of wins soon. Tarek Sims to Manly or South. Manly are favourites at the moment, but um, looks like he's going to leave the Newcastle Knights. And also Robbie Rocker leaving the Newcastle Knights. Maybe um, and the um, the reason for that is them um, signing Luke Lewis as well. And also keeping, they've just re-signed um, the Safedi brothers as well. So um, that's, that's good for the Newcastle Knights and the Newcastle Knights future and fans. Uh, backup hooker for the Raiders, Kurt Baptiste, and also young back row Luke Bateman, both re-signing with the Canberra Raiders, and the announcement's going to happen very, very, very soon. So um, that's it there. Um, just one thing for the um, I want to just touch on one quick thing for the Gold Coast Titans. Um, at the start of the year, you know what he gave them hope. They um they um they signed Ash Taylor. Nobody um gave them hope. Nobody, everybody tipped them or the Newcastle Knights to make the wooden spoon which was fair enough I tipped the Knights but um, I always said that the Tigers Titans or um, Titans Tigers or the Knights would um, cause a lot of trouble for the top eight team it looks like the Titans are that team this year um, they've just signed Nathan Peets They'll get, they're gonna sign Conrad Harrell that's two massive signings for them effective immediately you know at the start of the year they had basically um, no hope of signing anyone during the year. They've already got two. Nathan Peters is a great player. There's talk about him possibly playing New South Wales Origin. So he goes straight into the hooker. He's starting off the bench this week, but expecting to start in the very near future. Conrad Hurrell goes straight into the side. Both big names and both game changers. So um, that's two great signings. Neil Henry is doing a great job um, for the team he's had. 
Now, we're going to change it a bit around. We're going to talk about just basically information that's going around. So, um, the NRL. So, Kieran Foran is an interesting one too. He took time off for personal reasons. Hopefully, that's all worked out for him. He's apparently going to play with the Parramatta Eels against the Melbourne Storm this Monday. So, that's going to be great. you think Takarangi goes straight into centre. Kieran Foran and um, Corey Norman. Um just um they're back to the half combination I've got. It's gonna be a tough one, but um I still think the Melbourne Storm will win, but I mean Karen Foran's a massive, you know, he's a red player. Is it gonna is it too early? He apparently wanted to play last week against the um the Rabbitohs but um he didn't. He's just gonna travel with the squad. Um he's gonna train and then travel so um Apparently there's some kind of separation, he's training by himself or something, so I don't know how that's going to work out, but um, expect him to play on Monday, so it's a long turn um, turnaround. I've got until Monday, so a lot of things can happen, but um, he will definitely be playing this Monday, so I just don't know if it's too early or not, we just have to wait and see on Monday, I'll most likely interview him. Um, but hopefully everything is, um, is, is all good for him, so um, yeah, so he's going to be returning this Monday against the Melbourne Storm. Going over membership numbers, so I touched on the, the Canberra Raiders have got over 14,000, and um, that believe it or not, that's higher than the Sydney Roosters who have had so much success in the previous couple of years. But one club I want to touch on is the Cronulla Sharks, they've just hit 13,000, and that's a club record, so congratulations to them. Um, that's, a, that's a great, um, the fans have been rocking up to the um, stadium, you know round bar every over home game and um they're packing that out so well done to them and who wouldn't with a club team like that i've tipped them to make the um to win the premiership this year and they haven't disappointed so far state of origin is an interesting one obviously everybody's talking about it now the teams possibly the debutants for the state of origin blues new south wales blues squad josh mantle jack bird tyron peachy bryce cartwright adam reynolds and matt morden so um one that i'm not 100 percent about is Tyron PJ, a couple have tipped him to make it. I don't think he will. Cartwright will get the bench spot. The halves will be Adam Reynolds and James Maloney. The fullback would be Matt Moylan or Lachlan Coote. Um, Jack Bird's apparently going to get that bench spot. Mansell is going to take over Brett Morris's spot. Um, Cartwright is going to get that um, that bench spot as well. So uh, I do like the halves. I did, you know, I don't, I wouldn't mind Hodgkins and Maloney, but Reynolds and Maloney is great. They've both been great this year. Reynolds is kicking game. His defense has been great this year, so um, he takes on the line as well. And he's obviously the major reason why they won last week against um, the um, Eels at Perth Stadium. So um, Josh Mantle is another one. It's a great, um, great player. Makes a lot of meters. Um, his stats are unbelievable this year. Um, uh, he's going to be along with. Um, you've also got Ferguson and then Jennings. Um, um, at center as well with Dugan, so um, and then Matt Moreland or Coop in the in the um, in the fullback position. I like it. I still think Wade Graham has to be in the squad. Do you swap Jack Bird with Wade Graham? Um, I'd do that um, because Bryce Carwright can cover in the half position as well. So um, five eight. So you know, having Jack Bird and Bryce Carwright, I think one of them um, has to go. Um, Jack Bird is that for me, Wade Graham goes straight into that um, Jack Bird spot and um, between Lachlan Coote and Matt Moylan um, I really don't care, I like them both Matt Moylan and Lachlan Coote, I think Lachlan Coote's defensive game is better but um, Matt Moylan he's got a kicking game and he's also got um, that passing game which Coote does have as well but um, it's gonna be, it's just gonna be um, it's just gonna be an interesting um, talk because on Monday the that New South Wales Blue team is going to be announced. So, um, watch this space. Queensland they're going to they're going to um, debut Corey Oates and Kyle Field wingers. So, um, there's not much to talk about there. We all know what the um, their team's going to be. Josh Maguire as well as another one. So, um, watch this space. News breaking out today that Robbie Farah apparently um, when he got injured um, on Sunday against the Bulldogs, I kind of thought he was out for Origin, but based on what happened and went out on the medicab and stuff like that, but um, news out of today is he's free to play Origin. He got cleared of a serious um, head injury, so um, 
Thank God for that over on my Marco Ennis out hookup, but no, nobody, everybody knows that Robert Farah is going to get chosen, whether we like it or not. One other thing as well is the footy show on Channel 9. They want to they want a later later slot time, so they're after Thursday night. Um, it, rather than doing on Wednesday night, um, they've had decreased of TV ratings, but um, they're after that possibly doing it straight after Thursday night footy. So when Thursday night footy finishes, um, Channel Nine goes straight into the footy show studio, which I I, I like I like it. Um, a lot of people are gonna say it's too late, but you know I don't care. It's footy. Um, they talk footy. It's, in, it's entertainment. Um, um, I'll be happy for that to happen. You know, it's just gonna extend my night. So um, it's a great thing. Um, we see it on the Fox Sports with um, on Sundays, and they also have that pre-talk as well shows. Um, it leads to um, the footy as well. So I think Channel Nine can do that. So the footy and then go to the footy show. I don't think they'll do it before because that's gonna be way too early. So after will be great. Um, it, it, people will say it's too late, but I don't. I don't think so. Um, obviously, it might turn off a lot of people as well because of that reason. But I think it's a better slot than the Wednesday time. So um, that's talking. I know not a lot of people know this, but um, that's what's happening with the footage show as well now. Um, I want to just touch on Super Coach as well, NRL Super Coach. So it's an important um, time going into the buy period. Um, my trades this week were Jake Trovojevic to Mike Cooper, and um, I kind of I had um, Will Purcell from the Knights. Um, I really stuffed up big time a couple of weeks ago. I thought he was going to make his debut, but Brock Lamb got it, so um, I substituted um, Trovojevic out. I got Mike Cooper in, took out Purcell, and I put um, um, Rankin in from the Tigers. So. The reason why I got this is because Rankin can play fullback, and one of my fullbacks also plays five phase, so they can swap around, do that rotation. And um, Mike Cooper is a great buy coverage player, and he works well with the um, the forward pack I've got at the moment. So they kind of um, um, they kind of like support each other during the Origin period. So when one of them has a buy, the other one plays. So um, the other couple plays. So uh, that's why I got Mike Cooper in, and. Um, that's gonna. That's my super coach. The four next week, I'll touch on that in my next podcast. Um, podcast, because next week there's four trades. Um, I'll be selling. I know for a fact that I'll be selling Corey Parker. I held him one more week. Hopefully, get something great tonight. Um, in the derby, so um, I'm gonna be selling um, Corey Parker. I'll be selling Ben Barber as well. I'm gonna um, upgrade Jaden Nkrima um, in my hooker position to um, a decent hooker and one, one other um, player, uh, possibly in the center position. Maybe get because I haven't, I don't have semi Rodrigo, so I need him as well. So those are my four possible trades for next week, just on top of my head. Um, just a recap on on a lot of other um, other things, or if I can touch on, sorry, touch on um, other things. Corey Norman. He'll be staying with the Parramatta Eels. I know there was talk about him signing with Penrith, but I don't think that's going to happen anymore. James Tahamo is coming to the Panthers. Robert Jennings is going to the Rabbitohs as well. So those are just quick, quickly other things. Corey Norman staying. Robert Jennings leaving Panthers. Possibly both Jennings. I don't know. Watch his face, but Robert Jennings is the um, the one that's apparently leaving. Um, 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 James Tahamo is staying, at, um, joining Penrith. Um, and what else do we have? Uh, the Tigers. I haven't heard much about them lately, but I think you definitely have to sort of re-sign both of them. I don't rate um, rate them highly. Luke Brooks, I don't rate that much. Um, there's no way I'll be re-signing them for more than five hundred thousand. But I guess the Tigers have to um, cop it in the chin and they have to overpay um, to keep them because of the, um, the the market at the moment. Corey Norman's going to take a pay cut to stay as well, so um, does Brooks and Moses do that as well? Or do they both do that? So um, we have to wait and see, but the talk is they're after big money, so um, hence why Penrith stopped negotiating with Mitchell Moses and Bullock stopped negotiating with um, Luke Brooks, so um, 
that's a, that's a couple of um, signings uh, and re-signings there. Also, David Mead apparently is an outer of the Gold Coast Titans. I don't know how true that is, but um, we have to wait and see. Talk a couple of weeks ago about Anthony Mundine possibly returning. If anything, he'll be returning to the Auckland Nines and not um, a first grade um, spot. Um, so um, keep your eyes out for that one. So um, that's 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 basically it. If you have any questions, post below um, in the comments box. I'll do my best to answer it. Also, like my Facebook page. It's in the, the links in the description box. So um, that podcast that's podcast for for NRL off the field. Um, done and dusted. Next week it's going to be the same. Um, um, I'll be uploading it Thursday or Wednesday, and um, Hopefully you guys just sh share this video, like it, comment, and um, subscribe to my channel. Um, thank you all uh, for listening. Enjoy the footy this week, and um, I hopefully I catch you um, next week, same time, same day. And um, if you have any topics you want to discuss, please post below or even message me on my Facebook page. The link I told you it's in the um, description box. Um, my page has updated information, rumors, signings, and um just basically news so um thank you and um enjoy the footy and um cheers for the sport